The Nigerian police also says it has rescued about six children from several kidnappers engaged in theft of children for onward sale. The first public relations officer, Frank Mba, while parading several arrested criminals in Abuja, says this was part of extensive intelligence and investigation by the intelligent response team of the Nigerian police force. Mba says three of the children have already been reunited with their parents, leaving three others in, uh, still in the custody of the police. We are being compelled by the exigency of this case, by the very special peculiarity of this case, to do what normally we don't do. By the very nature of our rules, particularly our standard operating procedures, we don't show the faces of children uh, whenever we are having a press briefing particularly when these children are victims of crime. The three kids here, two girls and a boy, were among six children recovered, rescued by detectives from IRT. As a matter of fact, the case started sometime in June last year, 2019, when we got a report about incessant um, child stealing taking place in some parts of the country. On the strength of that case, investigators from the IRT commenced invest investigators from IRT commenced investigation. In the course of the investigation, we discovered a ring, a syndicate that specialized in stealing innocent children and selling them off to intended buyers, most of whom are also some other persons looking for fruits of the womb. At the end of the day, we were able to rescue these, three, these six kids Three of them, all girls, have been successfully reunited with their families. But since then, we've been having these children unable to trace, locate, or identify their families. The purpose of this briefing, therefore, is for the media to help us put out this information out there so that family members who might have lost or who might have lost any of their own, or whose children or child might have been stolen, uh, to come up and take a very close look at these children for possible identification. The suspects who were involved or who were implicated in the course of our investigation have all been charged to court, and they are all cooling off their heads um, in the prison. We now have joining us security expert Kabir Adamu from Abuja to take a look at this uh, um, development as well. Good morning, uh, Adamu. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, we have a case of aid workers in Boko Haram custody and possibly many unreported cases. Um, all of this, again, surrounding security issues, even as you listened to the video that we just played. What's your assessment of the security agencies, you know, in dealing with issues like this? Uh, there, there are areas where we can say progress is being made. Um, then, unfortunately, there are areas where a lot more needs to be done. Um, in, especially in internal security matters, uh, I am of the opinion that the overwhelming involvement of the military has uh, created its own challenge. Um, the police, which is the lead agency for civil security matters, unfortunately has been relegated to the background. And there are structural and other challenges that is um, reducing the ability of the police to perform. Um, in instances like the ones you just played in your video, those are successes that need to be commended, but they need to be expanded. Um, we need to see that across the entire 700 plus local governments in the country. In fact, to the nooks and crannies and all villages in the country, um, not just um, you know single successes like the ones 
that, 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 that was played. Um, for security to be achieved, states, um, local governments, villages must have to feel the presence of um, all the security agencies, particularly the police. Right. Well, is it not high time the local vigilante like Amotekun were given legal and moral backing to assist the security agencies, you know, so that maybe, just maybe, we can get more results? What's your thoughts? Uh, the, the, the legal backing for vigilantes and other self-help groups exist um, within our cause, um, security architecture. Uh, the challenge, however, unfortunately, is how the federal structure limits the capacity of these self-help groups to perform. Um, as you're aware, security is in the exclusive list um, you know, cu currently. So the federal structure more or less dictates the tune of security. But the reality, as we know, is that both at the state and local government, um, in, um, performances in security exist. And so these health, um, health groups are there. So I think there is a need for some level of constitutional amendment to allow um, an increment in the role played by both police and, um, sorry, state and local government in this um, security arrangement. Um, now, uh, given the current circumstances that exist in the country, I think the police as an institution needs to have um, a, a guideline or a template for uh, a, a relationship with these health help groups like Amotekun as an example. I know um, in the case of Amotekun, a lot has been done, but there are several other arrangements uh, that exist at, this, at state level or at local government level um, that unfortunately are not being incorporated uh, by, by the police. Um, at the end of the day, these organizations would help uh, the performance of the police. So the earlier the police um, have a template with which they can work with these organizations, then the better. I know the argument by the police is that sometimes they train these organizations. And an example is in the Hizba uh, arrangement in Kano, mm. uh, where the police has worked very closely with the Hizba. And I think there is a very cordial relationship existing between the Nigeria police and and the HISPA, but that's just one. Um, where we have across the nation several of these organizations, then um, it's only proper that a, 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 the right template is put out there so that whatever arrangement exists between the police and organizations like the HISPA would also exist with, with other aspects, other self-help groups like the um, Amotikun and several others that uh, around the country. You'd agree that security is quite crucial to every Nigerian. If we move away slightly from you know, the conversation we were having, as interstate travel ban is lifted, what security tips will you offer for travelers? Nigerians are always moving from one place to another. Um, number one security tip, don't travel at night. Um, our crime mapping um, you know, that, that, that we've done in the past has shown that a majority of the crime incidences that occur in the country happen at night. So that's, that's number one. Number two, make sure your vehicle is in sound condition. Uh, when there is a vehicle breakdown, um, sometimes these incidences uh, take advantage, the criminals take advantage when, when there, is a, there is a breakdown. Uh, if you can travel in clusters, um, travel in clos clusters, it reduces your vulnerability. Uh, when criminals see groups of truck convoys, for instance, um, it makes it a bit difficult, even though, unfortunately, we've seen incidences where sometimes even convoys are, are stopped and arrested. But the chances of someone in the convoy making a call or carrying out some action that would reduce your vulnerability is much more higher as against if you are traveling a, a, alone. Um, also, go low profile. Do not use vehicles that would attract the attention of, of criminals. Sometimes they do those, that type of surveillance. And then, of course, very importantly, too, um, ensure that uh, you don't stop on the road to pick or buy things that, uh, you know, would, would increase your vulnerability. Sometimes the informants of um, these criminals are stationed around those, those places where you stop to buy those things. And then several other elements around uh, what we call um, your awareness um, so that I, I, whenever, unfortunately, you are being trailed, you would know and then you would respond accordingly. Thank you so very much, uh, security expert Kabir Adamu. And do keep safe out there too. Thank you. Keep safe.